Hey y'all, what's up? This is your girl, Comedic Medium Properties, and I'm back with another video. If you are a returning subscriber, hello, welcome back. If you're new, I am a pathetic tear reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. <clears throat> I read cards based off what spirit tells me, the holy angels and the divine, also a psychic medium. Um, let's go ahead and pray. I'm getting a download. This is going to be a quick message. All right. Um, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron. I ask you to send your greatest white light <clears throat> and please give me clear and precise messages. Protect my crown chakra, protect my throat chakra, protect my heart chakra. Protect me from any harm or entity that does not want me to speak, that does not want me to get messages out. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for the love and the protection and the messages. Um, the download I'm getting is somebody took you for granted. They could have put you in a third-party situation, but now they want to reconcile. Somebody regrets taking you for granted this high effect. Yeah, three of swords here. Wow. We have the higher fit king of cups. So a cancer Pisces Scorpio could be significant. Um, I'm hearing a water sign, an earth sign, an Aries could be significant. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. So fire, earth, and water. But yeah, with the three of cups and the three of swords, somebody is, they're heartbroken because they put you in a third party situation. Somebody sees you, this is a Sagittarius energy. Angel number 555 could be significant. Somebody sees you as an earth angel. Somebody sees you as the love of their life. This King of Cups, this King of Cups is in love with an earth angel or this Cancer Pisces Scorpio is in love with a Sagittarius. Somebody sees you, if you're not an earth angel, I feel like if you're an earth angel, you will know if you're an earth angel. But if you're not an earth angel, you could just have a very pure or an angelic spirit. Somebody sees you as the love of their life. Okay. Two of pentacles here. Somebody regrets juggling you. Confirmation. Somebody regrets juggling you and somebody regrets putting you in a third party. But I feel like this person is heartbroken at this time. And I don't feel like this person is heartbroken because of anything you did, I feel like this person is mad at themselves, okay? Somebody, whoever they put you in a third party with, that person broke their heart, okay? I feel like male or female, I feel like somebody could have been in a karmic cycle and there is a karmic cycle coming to an end, coming to a close. So yeah, this King of Cups put you in a third party and that third party broke their heart. Somebody could have thought the grass was greener on the other on the other side, but the grass is greener where you water it at. <laughs> the grass is greener where you water it at because I'm looking at this temperance car, right? And you see all of this grass. Somebody feels like they should have chose you or somebody feels like they could they should have stayed with you if you was already in a relationship with this person. But yeah, this, this person is very sad and depressed at this time. I feel like this King of Cups here is sad and depressed because the person that they chose over you, okay, or the person that they left you for broke their heart and they're still healing. This person is also heartbroken because they're angry and they're mad at themselves for not staying with you or not choosing you. So I don't know if you were already in the in a relationship with this person or when you met this person, this person was already in a relationship so they couldn't be with you. Somebody regrets lying to you. Yeah, devil card here. Somebody is going to be collected by the devil with the devil card. Somebody regrets trying to, I'm here and put you on the chopping block. Somebody regrets trying to blood sacrifice you. This could be your divine counterpart that tried to blood sacrifice you. If they didn't do that, if your divine counterpart, uh, this could be um, a soulmate, a twin flame, or this could even be a karmic soulmate. Just take it how it resonates. Um, if they didn't try to sacrifice you, they could have been in devil energy towards you. See, look, the angel, an angel and a devil don't mix. Somebody now realizes somebody is going through a dark night of the soul or they're just somebody could somebody could have went through a dark night of the soul 
with this third party, okay? And I feel like somebody is coming out of a dark night of the soul. Now somebody is awakening. Somebody is going through a spiritual awakening. This is a late bloomer. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. This is a late bloomer. So this could definitely be somebody, a part of group B. Remember I told you, if you've been watching my channel, group C is the karmic motherfuckers, male and female, they don't want to heal at all. They like being attached to the devil. And then you have group C who really does want to heal. They just got out of a karmic cycle. They've had a little delay. These are late bloomers. They're just now catching up. So yeah, that's what this is. Somebody is going through a spiritual awakening and guess what? They choose you. But do you choose them though? Somebody feels like you got options. Somebody somebody thinks that you're dating and you could be dating multiple people at this time or even if you're not dating multiple people at this time, you can have a lot of people in your energy at this time, okay? You could be self-sufficient, single, abundant, or you could already be in a relationship. I don't know, but I don't know why I keep picking up on that song by um, by Brian McKnight. I keep hearing, do I ever cross your mind anytime? Do you ever wake up reaching out to me? Do I ever cross your mind? Anytime I miss you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why this reading is funny to me. I don't know. This makes me laugh because it's very sweet because I feel like somebody has good intentions in this energy. They probably didn't have good intentions for you in the past, but I feel like somebody didn't have good intentions for you because the person that they were in love with, this third party that they were in love with, they really could have thought this person was the love of their life. This third party could have did spell work on this person, black magic, voodoo, hoodoo. They did some type of spell work to block a spiritual union, a spiritual connection. Now somebody is awakened. awakened. Now the mask is coming off of this third party. And now the mask is coming off of this person. Somebody sees you as this. An angel. Somebody sees you as somebody sees you as abundant. It's like you see on this card, you see how this angel is pouring into their own own cup. You love yourself. Okay, this may be why somebody wants to reconcile with you. This may be why somebody wants to apologize to you. Because I'm picking up on an apology because yeah, this is kind of sad. You know. Everybody makes mistakes. I feel like somebody needs to stop beating their self selves up because I'm not perfect, you guys. I've been through karmic cycles. And I remember when I went through my karmic cycle um, with my ex in my past, I remember asking myself, like, what was I thinking? What was wrong with me? Why did I do that? Why did I do this? I mean, yeah, why did I do that? Why did I do this? It's a part of life. I feel like somebody really needs to take a breather. And somebody really needs to stop beating themselves in the head. Somebody really needs to get out of their head. Somebody could definitely be in the five of swords right now. Somebody is just overthinking. Somebody is just doing entirely too much. Somebody just needs to calm down. You made a mistake. You chose a third party. I feel like somebody is bothered. Somebody is bothered because they know that you have free will. So... I don't know. Like I said, everybody has free will <laughs> to choose whoever the fuck they want to choose. So there's somebody in your energy, male or female, they want to come back. This is somebody from the past. Do this person have bad intentions for you? I don't think so. They could have had bad intentions for you in the past. Somebody could have like a um somebody can have like a very territorial protective type energy. So this is the type of person that whoever they're in a relationship with Whoever they marry, whoever they decide to be partners with, they're going to protect that person. And somebody could have really thought that they were protecting their third, somebody really, excuse me, somebody really thought that they could have been protecting a third party when they really should have been protecting you. I also feel like, so this could definitely be a man. It don't have to be though. But I'm also hearing the most high God with the higher fent. <laughs> the most high God is whooping somebody's ass. Okay, the most high God is definitely whooping somebody's ass because if you're somebody like, how can I put this? 
you were probably supposed to be married to this person. This was probably supposed to be your husband or your wife, and they didn't do right by you. They didn't protect you. They protected a third party. One, because this third party could have did spell work on them. And I'm not feeling sorry for this person. Like this person could have actually knew who you were. This person could have knew that you were their other half, but somebody could have stayed in a marriage or somebody could have stayed in a relationship for money. Okay. Somebody could have maybe thought that somebody maybe thought that you wasn't good enough or somebody could have thought that you didn't have enough. You, you had too much baggage or I don't know, just different reasons. People don't choose people for different reasons, but I feel like at this point, whatever happened in the past is the fucking past. <laughs> you can't change the fucking past. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person is frustrated in this energy because you have free will. So it's like, even if this person comes back towards you, you could choose somebody else or you're already with somebody else, or you may actually accept this person offer. I don't know, but yeah, 10 of swords here. Somebody has went through a lot of betrayals. Death card here in the reverse. I'm hearing, I'm hearing something about a soul tie. Yeah, somebody could have had a soul tie with this queen of, queen of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody could have been of a, excuse me, somebody could have been attached to a gold digger or an opportunist, somebody that didn't really love them, somebody that only wanted their money. Yeah, hangman here in the, uh, in the reverse. Somebody has been enlightened to the truth. The hangman in the in the reverse represents enlightenment. Somebody is enlightened enlightened now. Somebody now knows that this this king of cups in the upright now knows that this queen of pentacles in the reverse is a devil, a demon, a dark witch, a dark warlock, a reptilian. Somebody now knows that you're the emperor. You're the empress. You're the angelic one. You're the you're the divine being. <laughs> Again, this is a real chill message because 1212 on the clock confirmation. This is a real chill message, but it's funny to me because this is funny to me. <laughs> it's funny to me because all of these karmics in the collective, and, it, and it's and it's nobody but the most high God that has me in this bubbly energy. But I just be laughing at these karmics now because they, they're they so much in their head and they just need to relax and take a deep breath and they need to chill and just go through those dark night of the souls. Go through those spiritual journeys. Go through those spiritual awakenings. That's all you can do is just take a ride. Do what, do what the Most High God tell you to do so you can get to the next level. The Most High God is definitely whooping somebody's ass. I'm literally hearing the voice of God. Okay, I told you to do right by that emperor. I told you to do right by that empress. I told you what to do. And you decided to stay with somebody for money. Or you decided to, you know, leave somebody for money. I gave you a gift. This was your gift. And you chose something else. God is literally saying, oh, you got free will. You didn't have to be with the gift that I gave you. You didn't have to do that. But you also didn't have to spiritually attack them. So somebody could have literally spiritually attacked their other half. So just take what side you want, take what resonate. Like this person could have actually knew that you were their other half. <laughs> somebody could have actually knew that you were their divine counterpart or somebody didn't know. Somebody could have literally thought you was, you was the devil. I don't know what this is, but <sighs> page of swords here. This person could be watching you or stalking you. Somebody definitely wants a family with you. Somebody is looking at this third party like the devil. I feel like at one point, somebody could have been looking at you like the fucking devil. Okay? And then again, I'm not feeling sorry for this person because I'm picking up on two energies. Like this person could have actually knew that you were pure. You were a good person. You were, you were of the most high God. But still, you know what I'm saying? They didn't choose you. Because they wanted to be in a connection or a relationship for money. Or if it wasn't for money, somebody had a lot had a lot more hoeing to do. Somebody wanted to sow their royal, royal oats. Somebody could have tried to put you on the back burner. Like somebody could have known that this third party was no good for them. Angel number 1444 on the clock. So they could have did some type of love spells, black magic on you to keep you stuck, to keep you stagnant, to keep you single. But all of this shit has backfired. The devil is collected. 
So I don't know. But see, in this season, everybody has free will. So if you want to accept this person back, one second. Somebody's dogs is barking outside. I don't have a dog. But anyways, if you want to accept this person back, you can do that, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, because you have free will. Whatever you decide to do, the Most High God is going to support you. I keep telling you guys that, yeah, I told you, Five of Swords, uh, Moon card here. No, this is Sun card here. Leo energy. Yeah, with the Five of Swords. Somebody is in their head. Like somebody, somebody need to really get out of their head. And yeah, whoever this third party is, this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, this King of Cups hates this person. This King of Cups is like, what the fuck did I get myself into? Why did, I, I don't know. Somebody is just all over the place. Somebody really need to maybe go to therapy or maybe go to counseling or something like that. Yeah, this emperor here, this king of cups emperor sun card here, this man or this woman, because this don't have to be a man, even though I'm seeing a man, they have been enlightened to the truth of who this, the, this third party is and who you are. And even if they already knew the truth in the very beginning, somebody is getting their ass whooped. Somebody is getting they, I'm sorry, somebody is getting their ass whooped by God for how they treated you or I don't know. See, one thing you don't do when the most high God give you something, don't you dare slap him in the face. Now, if the most high God give you something, be grateful and keep moving forward. If God give you just, I don't know, example, if God give you a car and you don't want that car, be like, I don't want that car, God, but I thank you and I appreciate you and keep it pushing. He not going to love you less. He gonna, he gonna always love you. He's not gonna love you less for choosing yourself. He's not gonna love you less for not accepting what he gave you because God loves us so much, he give you free will. But what you're not gonna do is disrespect God. What you're not gonna do is slap God in the spiritual court and your ancestors in the face. If you don't want something or somebody, continue to move on with your life. Don't attack them. Somebody is up under judgment for doing spell work on their other half and this is what i'm hearing like i don't know somebody has a god complex i don't know somebody has male or female like <laughs> i'm hearing this song um every time i see your face it makes me wanna sing and every time i think about you love it drives me crazy yeah Somebody has a really big God complex. Somebody literally thought that they could be in a third party and, and, and sleep with a lot of men or sleep with a lot of women and keep you on the back burner. Somebody could have been doing spell work to interfere in your love life, to keep you stuck, to keep you single, to keep you stagnant. See, when people do that, they're slow. They don't understand that the Most High God, if you're single, the Most High God will keep you single for a reason. It's not because of what spell work people do. Because look, I keep telling y'all the same thing, especially you, Divine Feminine. Y'all got options with the Emperor and the Hierophant. Everything happens in divine timing. See, you can't settle for anything. You, you, you can't settle for anything. Like, some of you, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, you're going to be a millionaire. You're going to be seen all over the world seen all over tv you're gonna walk the red carpet some of you are you're not gonna be famous at all some of you are gonna be so rich and so wealthy god saved the best for last he saves his greatest soldiers for last so while all of these people are doing spell work and black magic to keep you stuck and keep you single and keep you alone i can definitely resonate with that part I'm so happy, <laughs> but when people do, I be laugh. I literally be laughing at these karmics now because they so slow, but people, they don't have patience. They want microwave shit. That's the world that we live in. People don't have patience these days. As soon as they see a sexy woman, as soon as they see a sexy man, they jumping on the bandwagon. Oh, that's my wife. That's my husband. God didn't tell you that was your wife or your husband. You have to let God order your steps. So while these people are laughing, 
let them laugh. Why these people think they spell work is working? These people, somebody actually thinks that they're keeping you alone, that they're keeping you heartbroken, and you have a whole divine counterpart coming in. This could be a lot of these divine counterparts. A lot of these people that want to reconcile with y'all, some, some of them are karmic, some of them are soulmates, some of them are counterparts, some of them are twins. A lot of these people want to reconcile with y'all. And then you even got new people in your energy. <laughs> God saves his best for last. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. I'm getting a download. I'm literally seeing something in my third eye. When you come together, let me say that again. God saves his best for last. So when you come together with these other chosen ones, these other higher fence, group B and group C, they're going to be so sick. Ooh, they're going to cry a river. These people are going to be so sick. Bro, bro, they're going to be so sick because see, group C, they don't want to change. They stuck in Karmicville. They're attached to the devil. They're, they're bound to the devil. They stuck. Group, group B, they're trying to change. They got a lot more healing to do, but you, you, you 10 steps ahead of these people. Group A, chosen one, star seed, earth angel, walking adventure, adventure angel extraterrestrial being you 10 steps ahead of these people what god got for you is gonna make people jaws drop what god got for you gonna make people shed a tear and they're not gonna be shedding happy tears they're gonna be looking up at you and saying how did you do it how did you overcome that who are you people are gonna want to interview you talk to you the whole world gonna know y'all name y'all are millionaires and billionaires I'm telling you, a lot of you are going to be on TV. A lot of you are going to be walking the red carpet. Not all of you, but majority of you. A lot of you are going to be married to athletes, rappers, musicians, doctors, lawyers. Engine number 222 on the clock. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> this makes me laugh. Hey, Karmic, your spell work is not working. God is always working. And every chosen one that's walking this earth is in the right place at the right time. They're at, where I'm at right now, where you're at right now, chosen, chosen one, you're at the right place at the right time. Everything is divinely orchestrated. It's all divinely orchestrated. When it's time for you to get your blessing, you're going to be at the right place at the right time. Wherever you are right now, things may seem like it's moving slow, but God know exactly what he's doing. So you be encouraged, okay? Because <laughs> I feel like it's some karmic masculines and karmic feminines in this energy <laughs> that's making fun of single people. Hell, they probably could be making fun of me. <laughs> yeah, you in a relationship, but you sleeping next to the devil, <laughs> Yeah, you was in a relate. You was in. You was past. You was in a relationship, but you was in a relationship with a gold digger. You caught an incurable STD. You going through hell and chaos and drama. You married, but you living like you single, or you're being treated like you're single. I ain't even finna feed into that negative energy, <laughs> but that's real funny. Keep talking shit. See, you know what? Every time you put your motherfucking mouth on the chosen one, God gonna whoop your ass. He already whooping y'all ass. Divine masculine, divine feminine, these people are gonna be so sick. So sick. But you've been a humble servant for the most high God. When you make it to the top of the pyramid, don't brag. Ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be no need to brag. God going to do the bragging for you. Oh, you thought your spell worked, worked? On my divine masculine, on my divine feminine, on my son, on my daughter, you thought your spell work worked? You thought you were keeping them stuck, single, isolated? You, you really thought you was keeping somebody stuck, sad, and, and lonely? Somebody actually thinks somebody is heartbroken. Ain't nobody heartbroken. Ain't nobody sad. 
Y'all are power couples. I'm telling you. Jay-Z and Beyonce? Finito. I'm telling you, God keeps telling me the same thing. Jay-Z and Beyonce finna go. It's finna be a new Illuminati king and queen. It's going to be some new people in the industry. See, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, you couldn't make it in the industry. You couldn't make it in certain industries, not just the music industry, because you wouldn't have fit in that group. They finna put the chosen ones in the industry. They finna take the chosen ones. It's going to take these karmic spots. Look at all these world disasters and hurricanes that's going on. These people are being wiped out. Yeah, lover's card here. Empress with the emperor in the higher fin. Exercise your free will, but pray to trust your intuition. Use discernment. Somebody got a long battle to go. Somebody is going through a spiritual awakening. They're just now coming out of a dark night of the soul. All I can say is I'm going to go ahead and close this message out. All I can say is, is these people are going to be so sick. God is preparing your table. And he got all the fixings on it. It got the ham, the turkey. I don't even eat pork. But it got all the fixings on your table. And the only person, look... God is preparing a table in the presence of your enemies. It's your personal table. What a, it's a big feast, like the Lord's Supper. And at this table, because I'm sitting at my kitchen table, and at this table, it's a bunch of chairs around the table. And you're going to be the one. You're going to be the one that's going to get to decide who can eat at your table. When you make it to the top, when God bring in this this big blessing, because it's right around the corner. It may seem like it's moving slow, but it's coming. When God give you this big blessing, people going to be calling you out of nowhere. Hey, divine masculine, divine feminine, who is this? You're going to be like, who is this? This your cousin, you don't remember me? You know, I used to babysit you when you was two years old. What's up, cuz? You know, can I borrow some money? You know the light bill do i seen you on tv i seen you walking a red carpet <laughs> some of y'all exes they ain't gonna know what the fuck to say they just gonna be what they're gonna be watching in a jail cell i keep telling you karmics it ain't over till the fat lady sing and see when the fat lady sing she usually sing at a funeral yeah it's a lot of funerals it's hurricanes tornadoes Oh, it's finna get it's finna get worse. It's finna get real bad. God is finna get rid of some people. Oh, and he ain't through it through yet. It's finna get real, real bad for y'all. Oh, it's gonna be so bad. And I keep telling y'all the same thing. When you go to the feds, cause you going. Oh, you going to the feds. Every time they call you down to take your medicine, cause you already going crazy and losing your mind. And the feds don't give a fuck about you being sick. They'll give you medicine. You're a criminal. You're a thief. You like to you like to set up murder for hire plots. You like to go against your divine counterpart, your son, your daughter, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your friend, your coworker. You you just like to go against people. You like to go against people that are pure. And I might just post what I'm finna say in the community tab. The Most High God is not playing. He's angry. He's angry right now. You know why? Because of how you treated his people, people that were God sent, that was placed into your life. And some of these people that you mistreated, you knew who they were. You knew they were a good person. You actually prayed for some of these people. And some of these people, maybe you really just didn't know. Maybe you were up under spell work. I feel like somebody has a mental disorder as well. But I don't feel sorry for you. And I, the Most High God don't feel sorry for you either. See, the Most High God, he told me, he told me this today. He said, you know what, my child? You're safe. I said, thank you, God. And he said, not only are you safe, all of my other sons and daughters are safe. He said, each one of the chosen ones are safe from natural disasters, 
They're safe from any harm or hurt. They're protected, divinely protected. The Most High God is telling me I've aligned each chosen one in a safe zone. So if a natural disaster happens, if something crazy or drastic happens, if people try to do something to them, I'm protecting them. But you other motherfuckers, you better fend for yourself. Not saying God ain't going to protect you, but you better get on your knees and repent. Because what's coming for you is death and jail. And I keep telling y'all the same thing. Every time you walk down those stairs, because you might be upstairs or you might be on the bottom. You might have an upstairs cell or a bottom cell. And when you walk out of that cell, when the guard lets you out of your cell to go take your medicine from the med nurse, because some of you are going to be on medicine. You're losing your mind because you wanted somebody else to be crazy. You wanted the emperor or the empress to be crazy and schizophrenic and incompetent and out of their fucking mind. When the guard lets you out and they call you down to go eat breakfast or lunch, whatever the fuck they do in prison, you're going to look up at a TV. And you just might see my face, bitch. You're going to look up at the TV and you're going to see me and all of the other chosen ones on the red carpet. You're going to look up at the TV and you're going to see yourself on the news, bitch. Because you're going to be publicly humiliated. You're going to be publicly exposed for what you did to God's daughter. To what you get to what you for what you did to God's son. You're exposed. So keep key keying and keep high hind. What you need to go do is go repent. Go repent. You worried about if somebody is single or not. You worried about if somebody is alone or not. You so psychotic and crazy. You actually think your spell work is working. You actually think we we out here heartbroken. No, baby, we at peace. You the one suffering. You suffering in silence. You still think you wearing a mask. You ain't wearing no mask no more. Hangman, sun card. The most high God didn't rip your mask off. Go to go through the dark night of the soul. You ain't got to. You can just stay like group C. You can just stay like group C and say fuck God and just hold on to the devil. But yeah, go through your dark night of the soul. Go through your spiritual awakening and quit worrying about divine masculine, divine feminine. Leave us alone because we good. And we got a major blessing coming in. And the blessing, the, the blessing that's coming in look real plentiful. Real plentiful. Beautiful table with all the fixings. I see gravy and mashed potatoes on the table. Sweet potatoes, collard greens, black eyed peas, pinto beans, navy beans, bread, cornbread, shit, everything. Kool-Aid, iced tea, soda, sprite. Shit, cranberry juice. I love cranberry juice. Cranberry sauce, dressing, birthday cake. <laughs> Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for, for preparing this table. That's how it's going to be at the table. All the chosen ones, all the 144,000 that made it. And shout out to the chosen ones that are no longer with us. But all of the, some of the chosen ones that you, you thought you killed, you thought you got rid of, they fake, they dead, they ain't even dead. <laughs> boy, oh boy. You laughing. You laughing now, ain't you, bitch? You still running your mouth instead of repenting, instead of getting your soul back. <laughs> when you see who divine feminine Mary, who divine masculine Mary, you're going to be sick. Your jaws is going to drop. You ain't going to know what to do. You're going to be crying. And you ain't going to be crying happy tears. You're going to be crying and saying, damn, I should have did right by the chosen one. Hurting on my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. I can see all of the chosen ones holding hands at the table, bowing their heads. Thank you, Lord, for this supper. Thank you, God, for preparing this table in the presence of our enemies. Yeah. <laughs> laugh now and laugh now and cry later didn't i tell y'all <laughs> laugh now and cry later it was all it was funny it was all funny games when you was attacking the chosen one cry river see when god whoop your ass ain't no running from that you know how when your mama used to whoop you and you run no mama no mama you know like Penny on Good Times. I don't know why I'm picking up on John Amos. I ain't even finna get into that, but I'm picking up on that man energy. He just stepped forward. He said he was abused before he died. He's saying something about one of his family members could have killed him. One of his family members could have beat him to death or killed him. 
something really bad happened to John Amos. I'm talking about the guy that played the father on Good Times. He's starting to step forward. I'm sorry, John. I'm going to have to get to you another time. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Y'all have a beautiful night. I'll be back with another message. Peace.